Why not? Are you giving yourself a bit more time? Yeah. Ten seconds. That's a video. <laughs> 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 Are you watching this as like course recon? <laughs> Where are we headed? Uh, heading up to Corin Dam today. So, yeah, should be a nice trip out there. Show you these clean, clear roads that I'm so jealous. The has to offer. <laughs> I'm so jealous. All right, let's do it. So as we head out on our ride to Corrin Forest Dam, just a little idea on what we're up to today, guys. Obviously, hopefully many of you know Jay. Jay's been with the team for the last two years and has really shared in many of the ups and downs of the last two years with us, really culminating in one of you know, his best performance, one of the best performances of the team at Sun Tour last year. But as many of you know, Jay will be moving on and he won the Zwift Academy and we'll be riding for Alpha and Phoenix. So I thought this was a great chance to catch up with him before he went. State your name. Uh, Jay Vine. Oh, sorry, sorry. Full given name as I found that forms will get declined unless you put that on there, even though it doesn't ask. Jay Tristan Vine. Political leaning. Water it. <laughs> <laughs> Shush. <laughs> Shush. Last time we saw you, looking confused, winning the Zwift thing. So what's the last few months been like? Like what's What's happening? Yeah, so we've applied for visas to live in Spain. Don't don't move to Spain <laughs> on a visa. It's a massive rigmarole. Basically have a plan of moving to Girona and we've rented an apartment, start training over there. The last month, month and a half, I've basically just been riding, getting up a real, oh, this is gonna sound really cliche, but real big base ready for the season. To come and do you know what that looks like yet like or is it you'll get there find out i'll get there and find out yeah we're pretty confident it's going to be a real a real easy slow start yeah until they really find out who i am probably looking like a heavier back end of the year Jay joined the team in 2019. It's crazy looking back, looking back at that first race, the New Zealand Cycle Classic, which was our first UCI race. Because I can remember chatting to you before the race and the start list had come out, right? And we're like, are we going to get 10 k's into this race and be like on the flight home? Make sure we don't get caught out in the crossies. Yeah. <laughs> and then by like stage three, it's like, right, okay, so we're, we're, we're going for podium we're, now. We're going to win. Okay, yeah, cool. cool. Yeah. Let's, let's, oh god, don't get me started on the, I was testing sprints. That's just oh, ridiculous. Yeah. I look back at that and I look at that footage and I'm like, what are you doing? Don't go there! <laughs> Call it what you want, 2020 was, well it was kind of the lost year really on the road. So what I was keen on asking Jay was how mentally he went from really the highs of, of Sun Tour and the great performance there to so as the doors started closing, how he sort of mentally changed his, his outlook. I had my two weeks break, basically after three peaks. One of our races, a Jap Japanese race, yeah. uh, got turned off and I was like, okay. Two weeks break, and then the Zwift NRS race has started up. And I was like, okay, well, I'm not gonna peak for these. Um, slowly started building back up. And you know, naturally as you're bracing, Swift three times a week really really hard you're naturally just gonna get really fit for two hours after that finished like in July I was about to turn off and then the Swift Academy got announced and there was no age restriction Bree and I just looked at each other and we're like this is it then then Tour of Twee got thrown in and uh 
Can we talk about jersey. this? Let's talk about this. So, this is uh, probably the only time we fought. Was it a fight? It was a disagreement. 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 So, yeah, basically, Jay Vine, we get this one shot at doing a, a road race in the year, and Jay Vine calls me and says, I don't really want to do it, Chris. I was a bit shocked, not gonna lie. How do we resolve this? So well, we just we just basically came to a some in, middle ground. And in the we? middle, yeah. Yeah. Which was, okay, Jay. I don't want to risk burying myself, putting a whole bunch of load in my legs a week before my chance of going pro this year, which was with Academy. And we basically came to an agreement of, all right, well, don't go for the jersey. Just pick your days, we'll go from there. And look, we don't say this to sort of demean what happened up there with everyone else. We do this to say because have a respectful relationship with everyone on the team, you can come to these set of arrangements. It paid off. It paid off. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, don't get me wrong, those, those days were really good. I mean, we had a look at the data from Tommy Win and the DT and the numbers were off the charts. So Woo. being able to put those that those numbers down, especially the Tommy Win stage, is really good for the, the Zwift stuff, because obviously if I can do that three hours into a race, yeah. doing that after 30 minutes is a uh, piece of cake. pretty good. When people think of Jay now, they think of this guy riding off the front of the NRS Peloton, but it wasn't always like that. And I was really keen to ask Jay about his training and about how he'd progressed physiologically and, well, mentally a as a cyclist. Four by four. Oh. Five minute VO2. Oh. Oh. Like, that, that really, really is good. I do, I'm actually on uh, Ainsley. Yeah. Has your threshold changed? What, what's the threshold change been since you were that guy at Barrel Classic to now? Uh, okay, so Barrel Classic, it's probably sub three, sub 400. So it was probably like 3.90. Now, I mean, last Saturday I did two, two 20 minute efforts at 4.30. Okay. So. So it's shifted 20 watts maybe? 20, 30 watts, yeah. Yeah. But, Which I'd like to point out is not dramatic for someone who's gone from being dropped in an NRS race to being essentially a world tour pro. Because I, the only reason I say this is like, it's your ability to repeat this. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's the repeatability and also like I was saying, the, the numbers at Tommy Win was a massive eye opener. So I basically did 420 watts, 20 minutes after three hours. Yeah. You know, back at Barrel Classic, 420 FTP came out of an FTP test. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's all I did for that day. Yeah. I'd love your thoughts on this, but I also asked Jay, what, what is his favorite race? What race is he really looking forward to doing? Possibility of starting next year would be Lombardia. Yeah. Desperately want to do that race. The history of riders that have won it. Like, yeah. you've, got, you've got so many talents that have won that. And different styles of rider, all the way from Gilbert to Pino to Nivoli. Being in our team is a lot more than just riding your bike. And we've shared a lot of pretty cool experiences throughout the last two years. Do you remember the uh, van trip in the Philippines? No, oh, yeah. From Celeste Cycles? Yep, yep. Yep, remember that trip? Lots of uh, topics discussed during that trip. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think that's what I'm going to miss the most. The uh, <laughs> off the wall ends that our conversations tended to go. Who do you think we scared more that day? Rommel or Sam Hill? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. the hell? What is what is going on here? So long term plan, well not long term plan, but like so you're heading over to Girona and then it just kicks off I suppose. Yep. And it's uh, racing trying to get that next contract because it's only for a year. Basically set our lives up over there for the next decade. I want to, I don't want this just to be a one, one year wonder thing. I want to actually make a career out of it.
what are your what's your shit that shits you okay. cycling wise cycling rant mm. name your ride like if you're going to put it on strava name it because no, no no one's copying you and if they are take it as a compliment yeah like just just name your ride even if it's went out today where do you where do you stand on like generic mint day or good day on the pedals yeah something like That's that right. whatever okay just just leaving it as a morning ride <laughs> evening ride like <laughs> there's like there's such oh. a flex to it though i reckon sometimes like people do like you know 300k ride and then it'd be like morning ride yeah you know, yeah whatever as we drop off the mountain and go past the world's most dangerous wallaby here on the left i just wanted to quickly say guys if you have any questions for jay do pop them below we'd love to to hear from yourselves I guess some advice I'd give, and there's no banger, there's no banger, this is this is the plan that gets you, this is this is the set of intervals that mm. gets you to win races, it's, it's going to be strong. Mm. Once, you've, once you've got to the top of that level, so once I got to the top of the inner race, I then decided, okay, well, what is my body more suited to doing? Well, it's more suited to climbing, so. We're sure this is just the beginning of Jay's journey, Jay's professional cycling career. In the last two years, he has given this team a lot. We like to think that, well, we've given him a bit. I mean, he's a unique character, a unique style of person. And, and we like to think that we do things differently and we have different people in this team. And, and it's guys like Jay's who can really flourish in this environment. And a lot of that is down to you guys. This community, it's special. It's not for everyone. The guys who join this team know that. But sometimes if you use it properly, well, good things can happen. This is all going to one person, <laughs> Is it? Who's going to? Some lady who's moving into a new house so to buy all that white furniture. Who are you? Free casual. See you on TV. See you later. So I'm sure you'll join with us and wish Jay luck, pop a comment below, wish him well, and we'll see him on TV in the very near future. What do you think of Jay Vine going pro? Yeah. We're leaving. Come on, dear. <laughs>